So he came out, came to us to talk about this idea, and uh, we think it's really, you know, blockchain society could change a lot of things for insurance. It's going to be a game changer because you see, blockchain now is regarded as the new self finance system. And we all know that finance includes banking, security, and insurance. Now we have already seen the attack of Bitcoin, Ether, these cryptocurrencies to the traditional fiat currencies that people are more willing to hold Bitcoin rather than the traditional ones. And also we see how it's changed the security treatings then the next is going to be insurance. It's just that now it's still early time that people have not yet paid attention to what blockchain could do to insurance. So we think it's very good timing to start to do this. And secondly, why blockchain and insurance is because blockchain is a trust machine. Many people regard this as trust machine and yes, it's correct because everything is written on the smart contract that is locked and operated automatically. So what is insurance? Insurance is a promise that um, you trust me and you give me premium so that when things happen, I pay you back. You trust me, I will do that. So actually, now we have to rely on those big insurance companies name to trust that they will do so but actually with blockchains technology the unchangeable character a smart contract is actually promises better than a insurance policy than a insurance company so now it's time that blockchain could change this insurance game. So the second point is that um, we are also building up a uh, market like the lowest markets. We know uh, in this market that is a decentralized market that operated for over 300 years that it's the orange of insurance actually uh, covered many famous catastrophe events like the uh, Titanic, like the uh, Japanese earthquake, etc. So this law is markets now with blockchain technology, a better version of that could even be realized. So in this um, blockchain version laws, we could see there could be many roles. It's a peer-to-peer -peer community that actuaries, underwriters, could design and issue insurance products. And then investors could choose those products that they think good and invest into it. And then the products are issued and the sales will promote and sell it to the end user. The insurers get insured here. Among the process, underwriters, claim specialists are providing professional services and it's end user to end user. So that's the future of the, um, of the insurance actually. And at the same time, the investment money and also the premium will go into the capital reserve pool that this is going to be a three layer reserve system that uh, even stricter than the lawyers. And also what's, what's great is that um, it's going to be transparent. Blockchain makes it possible to be transparent. So this smart contract and transparent lawyers reserve system equals to insurance get paid. So insurance was never so simple and straightforward. As for the insurance products, actually there are a variety of uh, choices for that, like the accidental insurance, like the health insurance, medical insurance, life insurance, and also the cyber risk insurance, and also maybe the uh, flight delay insurance, it's sexual, uh, weather index insurance, blah, blah, blah. So there will be many varieties to choose. 
that in the community, the designer and issuer, they could create things, products they think good and suitable for the community. And also there are one role that is the uh, artificial intelligence insurance robot, actually, that all the community members could share and uh, train up this robot. So you see, in the traditional world, I am not willing to share my valuable data because after I share it with you, I don't know how much money you make out of it and I don't have the continuous reward. And this is also one point that blockchain could solve, that blockchain will make the data traceable and protect the copyright. So in this community, people could share their data and train this robot up and they could share and enjoy the continuous reward out of it. If the robots get smarter, your tokens are more valuable. And also, you could, if you have big data, you could authorize and train up your own robot and make it serve other people and make remuneration out of it. So it's a cycle. And um, as for the roadmap, Our initial market, would we are actually having two partners locked in already. One is for the weather index uh, insurance products that is going to be, um, uh, uh, they have the traditional data of the weather for like uh, three countries in the world that could be trained, used to train the AI underwriting uh, machine so that each one could uh, see the race for different time, different place, and what kind of weather they want to insure against. So weather index insurance would be one of it. And also, um, one insurance product we're discussing is the uh, life insurance. Because nowadays, as people start to think that Bitcoins, Ethers are better than the fiat currency, like US dollar or Hong Kong dollars. So people start to hold Bitcoin cryptocurrencies rather than the fiat currency. And it's the same logic that people would want to have their insurance policies in this currency, in Bitcoin, in Ethers, in these crypto currencies, rather than those fiat, but in even because in the long term, you would say that those go down and uh, the crypto crap, uh, currencies will go up. So, so this is yeah, this is one important aspect of this uh, SIP. Yes, definitely. That is our, uh, that's what I said, the Lloyd's reserve system. The three layers reserve system that guarantee that when you have insurance, you could be paid up. So that reserve will be in the same cryptocurrency to guarantee you get sufficient payback. And if you have Bitcoin products, the reserve will be sufficient Bitcoin reserve. If you have Ether products, then there will be sufficient Ether uh, reserves. We hope that global-wise, that um, the insurers do not need, no longer need to go to the centralized organizations in the industry that they could directly here in the community get better protection and the uh, professionals in the industry could provide service in this community and get better remuneration and also the investors to the uh, Insurance company no longer need to buy their stocks in the traditional markets, stock exchange. They could invest directly into the good products here and get better rewards. So this is going to be a community that where uh, the insurers get better protection, the professionals get better remuneration, and the 
investors get better rewards together, SIP will be the future of insurance. No, what we are doing is going to be in the long term. So it's, it's one day going down, one day going up. It's, it does not change what we're doing and what we're thinking. We firmly believe that the society, the whole ecology on this blockchain, uh, we have faith in it.